Hi there. Thought it was about time I got on and did a video. It feels like it's been ages and it's only been a week. Um, if you've been to my channel before, if you've watched my recent videos, you know that I was moving house and we moved last weekend. So uh, today is Sunday and we moved into our house last Saturday. So it's been um, a whole week. And it took us basically four day, two days to move everything. Um, so we started on the Friday, hubby and I moved a lot of boxes on the Friday and we had some friends come and do one load in the F100 um, ute, which was really not really good of them. And then all the rest of the stuff got moved on Saturday. Um, so we, hubby and I worked basically from the time we got up Friday morning until, um, I don't know, dinner time Friday, I suppose, uh, shifting stuff. And then um, I think we did a bit more packing and stuff on Friday night. So it was pretty full on um, all, all of Friday, then all of Saturday, because I started as soon as I got up Saturday morning. Uh, thankfully, we were incredibly blessed and had offers to help us on Saturday, which was so so essential we wouldn't have been able to do it otherwise so my son our son and daughter-in-law helped and they were absolute machines um they were just amazing and um, amazing help and then i had an amazing um couple of friends that helped as well so um our son and daughter-in-law daughter -in -law brought their horse float and my friend brought her horse truck and then another friend brought a trailer and I don't know what we would have done without them. I really don't. Um, you know, not that long ago, we could shift ourselves, the two of us, and probably that was probably the last time we did that was maybe a bit over 10 years ago. And it was just us, just the two of us. You know, we were both really strong then and quite fit. Um, even though hubby had an, he had an accident about 20 years ago that left him with some problems, I'm capable of sorting him out, like with the, the after effects. Um, and so, but we were both um, doing lots of weight training back then and really strong and really able to, to lift stuff. Now it's a whole different story. And, you know, like a lot of people, my mum said, oh, you know, age, it catches up, but it's not age, it's fitness and health. And that's what's gone backwards in the last eight years since we've been in New Zealand. And uh, we're in the process of reversing that decline. But this move was the hardest ever and it took us both uh, pretty much the whole week to recover um, the other night I think it was Thursday night <laughs> hubby fell asleep at least five times while he was eating his dinner I was sitting opposite him because we've got the couches facing each other and I was sitting opposite him and I'd look up and he'd be he's got his plate and everything and he's sitting fast asleep and I'd yell at him and he'd like oh and he'd wake up and start laughing and eat and then a little while later he'd be asleep again he was just so tired and I was the same and so sore so so sore um but I know um that 18 months ago I couldn't have done what I did did last weekend 18 months ago that probably would have just about killed me I think um there's no way I would have, could have kept going for all those days because we had four days. So we had the two days we were moving and then two days afterwards, um, which were just flat out unpacking and sorting things out because I um, had clients coming on the Tuesday because I didn't give myself any time off. Uh, I should have, but I didn't. Um, and so I wanted to have the house, you know, in some kind of order because... I had to get my treatment room set up first and then uh, I, because the treatment room's in the house, in the last place I had a treatment room that was external to the house, whereas this one's in the house, so it's a little bit different. And I mean, people are just coming up through the hallway and into the room, but it's still, I still wanted it to be fairly well sorted out because as happened, I forget to close the doors and so they can see into our living area and everything. And I had one client that wandered straight into our bedroom by mistake. <laughs> So, you know, it's just making sure that things are okay, you know, res respectable and kind of unpacked. We've got one room that's still a bit of a disaster, the spare bedroom. And the garage is still a bit of a disaster, although hubby's making some headway in there. Um, but yeah, just the whole moving, you know, like before, 
when I said that we were moving, you know, I had a lot of people in the comments say, you know, moving's really stressful. And I was like, oh, it's not, not that bad, you know, but this time it, it was quite stressful. Um, stressful and hard. And yeah, but I'm so happy with the way that what I was able to do and to, to keep working like that for four days solid. There is no way that that would have happened 18 months ago. So that's a huge improvement and a huge win in my book and a huge testament for this way of eating. So, yeah, so we've moved. Um, the house is amazing. It's it's an older home. It was built in 1955 and um, it's could do with some TLC. You know, the, there was it was a, a couple that had this and then he passed away quite a lot of years ago. She was living here on her own for over 20 years, I think, and then um, she's been out of it now for a, about a, a year or two, perhaps, and then it's been rented since. And it's just got an amazing vibe, and it's got some really cute little Art Deco features. I love Art Deco, and um, I'll pop some video in here of those. <laughs> It's got the, the people that, the couple that had a, had a nursery or something, they were really into their gardening. So it's on about an acre and a half and a little bit over. And it's got amazing gardens that are a little bit neglected at the moment because it's been rented and, and hasn't been looked after, obviously, as well as it, has, as it used to be. But still, the gardens are amazing. I'll, I'll show you some a little bit of video here. So, you know, it's got these amazing stone walls that have been built um, on the, in the garden and along the front of the garden. I remember when we first, so we've lived in Tiaraha twice, this is where we are now, the first time we were here for four years. And I remember coming down the street, I always loved this street. Uh, it's got big street trees and everything and always it always just really appealed. And then my son ended up living here and when we shifted back, we were staying with them. We stayed with them for three months in their house, which is just across the road from where we are now. They've now moved on, but they owned a house across the road. And so we stayed there for three months and then we moved into a rental place just around the corner. And so we used to drive up and down the street all the time. And this property, I was always curious about because the house is set quite far back from the front boundary. It's got all these amazing trees and gardens. And it just, it's one of those places you kind of look at and think, oh, that looks a bit special, that place. I wonder what that's like. And now we're living here and I love it. I love, love, love this house. So, I mean, at this stage, it's only for a year and we could be moving again in a year's time. But um, we'll wait and see what happens. I have a feeling that it might be a bit longer than that. Um, and we're not sh too sure what we're going to do when we have to move out of this one because um, we've just, yeah, we've got some, some plans to maybe go back to Australia eventually, but I don't know if we're going to be quite ready then. So I'm actually, I'm actually trying to talk hubby into taking a few months and going, walking the length of New Zealand. Uh, there's a walk all the way down from the north to the bottom of the South Island called Tiara Tiararoa, I think it is. And I'd kind of heard of it and then one of my clients mentioned it the other day and I was like, oh my God, that's what we should do. <laughs> I was so I was so inspired and excited about it. But hubby, um, he was like I, I just threw it at him and he, he was like, oh I don't know about that. And he, he was like, how are we gonna eat meat? If we're tramping through the bush and i was like i don't know we'll find a way <laughs> so i don't know because we were thinking about maybe going house sitting for a while um when we eventually have to move out of here but we'll wait and see the future who knows what's going to happen in the future so we'll time will tell um we'll definitely be a lot healthier and we want to get and, and start doing some tramping because that was one of the things that we spoke about doing before we shifted back to from australia was that we were going to start going tramping in the bush here um, because in, in Australia we used to ride our push bikes and, and walk a lot on the beach and everything but living here is different you know especially where we are here in the Waikato um, so there's loads and loads of amazing bush and bush walks here in New Zealand so um, that's something that we need to actually start doing and build up some fitness and and get ourselves really back to um, 
fitness being fit and as well as being healthy and so like we're working on the health side of things with this way of eating i'm working on my gut health still which is going really well i'm going to do a video about that shortly um and so yeah so that's that's my update with the whole move thing for anybody who's interested um having been on the carnival diet for the last 18 months helped immeasurably for both of us um, because we're both a lot stronger than we were 18 months ago and so my advice if you're going to be shifting house <laughs> start eating carnivore because it really helps especially if you're older um, that's it for this video i thank you very much for watching if you've got any comments or questions fire away below and uh, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and i'll talk to you again another day bye bye